Warning, viewer discretion advised. This video may contain mild swearing, and if you don't like it, you can just f Welcome back everyone, to a video I really hoped I wouldn't have to make. I was happily running a brand new B12 that uh, I put out as a bargain a couple of weeks back now from Hatton's. Um, and she was running with the five coach Alan ER Teaks that you saw in a recent video of mine. And then she started to slow down. And I thought, well, maybe I've misjudged it. So I just turned the controller up a little bit. And then I noticed that my ammeter was reading maybe 250 milliamps. I thought, oh. And then it went up to 300 and more. And then she started running erratically and started smelling. So she's on the test bed. Straight away, we're at 240, 250 milliamps. Remember when I got her going and lubricated her properly, she was about, I don't know, 170, 180 at worst. Oh, look, see it creeping up? 320 milliamps. 330, going up. Oh dear, so this is once again looking like the ever wonderful Hornby motor issue that I had on my S15. So first of all I'll apologise to anybody that took my tip and bought one of these and is having the same issues. Um, I mistakenly thought Hornby must have sorted it out by now. Unless these are old stock, you know she's slowing down now. And I thought, oh crikey, look at it going up 400 milliamps now, that's ridiculous. That's more than a Ren Noco would use. So the motor is gradually cooking itself. But the mechanism is super sweet, smooth. So I have a question. I don't think they've got any more of these left at Hatton's. I've got dozens of replacement motors that I got for 99p, 99p each, direct from China. Same ones that Hornby's use. All I'd have to do is fit the um, flywheels and they'd probably be all right. But I'm feeling so angry and I'm doing so well at not swearing, guys. <laughs> I'm just a simple man and I'm afraid I work in an industry where swearing is quite common and I couldn't half swear right now because this has really pissed me off. Look at it. It'll be up to half amps and then it'll probably die. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, it's, oh speeding up and slowing down. Oh, it's dropped all the way back a bit. I think it's the brushes deteriorating on the motors. What a mess. If she has sped through that. Oh, another snag. Oh, I'll add this with the S15. I remember saying to you, oh, perhaps you'll break through it and, you know, it'll be fine. But then it just got slower and slower and hotter and hotter and then just failed. So that's what's happening with this B12. How oh, gutting. I was so enjoying running it this morning as well. Anyway, what do you think I should do? Send it back, money back, it means I don't have a B12, or replace the motor with one of the 99p ones from China. Yeah, not 45 quid, 99p. Ooh, look at her. Poor thing. Lovely engine. Let down by a shitty motor again. I was going to finish there, but I put her backwards and, oh God, it, it went up to 700 milliamps. <laughs> 